Oh yeah, it's that time again. Hello you beautiful creatures, how the devil are you? If you're new here, my name is Lou, or Lucifer as my friends like to call me. By my friends, I mean my Instagram account. I am out of breath already. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's it's been a strange one at the moment. Uh, there's a lot going on, but not a lot going on at the same time. Uh, things have just been a bit weird for me at the moment. So again, if I do seem out of sorts in the next couple of videos, I do apologise about that. However, I've literally had the postman just i think he he knows me by name now i have not got n not one not two but three boxes come to me uh straight away and i'm gonna unbox all of them for you so that's super exciting you're probably noticing that my makeup game is not on point today there's three reasons for that one i couldn't be bothered two if you notice well, if you look at my complexion in general anyway, I have got foundation, I have. However, the time and effort it takes for me to put it on, just, I don't feel it all the time. I did put it on once and I did really like the way it looked, so I am going to start using it again. It is a really nice, uh, not completely white, but really pale foundation. So I am going to put that on again, just because my face is, my face is my face. Um... I have got a really bad case of dry skin around my lips at the moment. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got a cold sore as well, or it could be a case of, because I am exercising more, that sweat is collecting here and it's just made my skin really raw. So I'm kind of, I'm trying not to put too much product on it. And the third reason is because my ColourPop um, order has arrived well it didn't arrive today it arrived a couple of days ago but if you remember Colourpop released a makeup range that was inspired by Hocus Pocus now you're probably pretty much the same as me as soon as it came out you wanted to buy it it was gone within seconds like literal seconds it was the same as the nightmare before christmas uh, sale the palette the revolution uh, makeup palette I had to get the second wave of that so this is essentially the second wave of the hocus pocus color pop makeup collection so essentially what i've got in here i've got the eyeshadow palette and i have got one of the sanderson sisters lipstick collection so i'm going to show you that i'm also going to do a couple of swatches for you i'm going to show you what the shades are like i'm also going to put the lipstick on to see what that looks like as well so that's why i haven't got any lipstick on also if you're noticing that I've got a few new jewellery pieces that is because I have recently ordered from the fantastic Deadly Nightshade ran by B. This is her Tabitha Choker necklace and these are her little guillotine earrings. I'm also doing kind of a collab necklace jewellery kind of situation so I've also got my Edgar Allan Poe necklace from lucid butterfly creations as well so i'm wearing both of those small businesses today if you do want to see what they can do i will pop their shop links down in the description below i am still really out of breath <sighs> it probably doesn't help that i've got my smiler well it's not mine it's garris i got my smiler <sighs> try and pop it up for you I have got my uh, Smiler Wandy on and it is boiling so it's self-inflicted it really is self-inflicted and it makes me miss being a host on it but that's where we're at so without further ado I'm going to open our spicy little box and see what we got inside of it how exciting I like the um, <clears throat> I like the outside of it and it's very cute on the inside you will notice that I did tear it a little bit just because i wanted to see what it was lucifer being an absolute idiot didn't look on the front to see that it was from color pop i just thought it was a weird package that i got from somewhere although does it say that it's from color pop on the front uh no 
No, it doesn't. It, it literally just says made in LA. I know that Colourpop is an American store, but I have also bought multiple things as well. So that's why. But yeah, that's essentially what you get in the front, in the inside of the box. So you get Colourpop in there. Now, so we've got... I'm pretty sure this is just the receipt. Yeah, that basically tells you. I'm not going to show you the front of it because it's got my dress on. You don't want to come to this hell <laughs> So we have got, I'll show you the lip duo first just because I'm really excited for the makeup palette. So this is the Sarah Sanderson lipstick and lip pencil. So I'll pop that there for you. So you can see by the front, the hair, Sarah Sanderson. Uh, and it says, I am beautiful. <laughs> Obviously, if you remember from Hocus Pocus, the movie, that's what she says. I absolutely love Sarah Sanderson so much. I always wanted to be Sarah Sanderson and then I quickly realized that I was Mary Sanderson. So this is where we're at. <laughs> uh, so the lipstick is just called Sarah and the lippy pencil is Lucky Rat Tail. So I'm gonna pop this open. Can we just talk about how gorgeous this box is? There we go. So if you look at the detail on that box, and it's got a nice little witch's broom there as well. I don't know if they are still selling. I really don't know. I literally just clicked buy and that was it. I might go and check later to see if they are still selling the set, but I really don't know because it was super, super popular. Like I said, the first time I tried to buy it, it was gone within seconds and I had the whole notification thing set up as well. So you can sign up to say you want notifications to your email. I had that and everything and I got it straight away, went onto the website and it was sold out completely i was devastated so this is wow that is weighty you can knock someone out with that <laughs> so i'll show you the i'll show you the pencil first just because i'm really excited for the lipstick there we go so if i move it closer so that is your lip pencil and that is lucky rat's tail and you can see as well the design on it so I pop that open. Oh, it's nice and sharp as well. There we go. So you can see that and it is a lovely dark red shade. The only problem with the Winifred and the Mary Sanderson lip collection that I had was it was too light for me. If you've watched me for long enough, I can't really say that considering I've only started recently like i literally started in november so <laughs> you've not really got a lot to catch up on but if you if you know me you know that i prefer my dark my darker reds opposed as opposed to my lighter reds so that is the lipstick and as you can see it's got an absolutely gorgeous design on it on the top and on the bottom slowly turn it for you that's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. And I open it. Oh. Oh my god. There's nothing more satisfying than seeing a lipstick that hasn't been used. So what I'm going to do is just because I'm not comfortable with putting my lipstick on in front of you guys it's a lot of trial and error with me unfortunately it's a case of uh putting it on wiping it off putting it on wiping it off so i will see you guys in a couple of seconds and we are back again guys i absolutely love this lipstick uh i'm not gonna so if i so that, even though it shines, it's an absolutely lovely uh, matte kind of feel. It felt really, really soft. So it felt like I was putting moisturiser on my lips and it smells really good too. <laughs> I don't know what they put in this lipstick, but guys, I, you know when you find... 
I just realised that it's got designs. See if I move it back. So I'm going to gradually move it into you. I don't know if you can see that, but it has little spiders on the actual lipstick. Now I am a severe arachnophobe so this is not so great for me however for other people I think it would be a really nice touch. It honestly feels so light, it feels so nice, it doesn't feel really clunky and nasty like a cheap brand lipstick. It feels light, it feels wearable I feel like if I wore this on maybe a warmish kind of day that it would be fine. It really, really wouldn't irritate me. My lips are cracked to hell and they honestly feel so much better. So I don't know what they've actually put in this um, lipstick. It doesn't, it doesn't say that's the problem. No, it doesn't say. That's really upsetting. Uh, but that, if you if you're tired of really clunky horrible lipstick then i would definitely recommend this one and the fact that it's got such a lovely finish such a nice red i i really like it i think if i got the mary or the winifred uh lipstick instead i don't think i would have liked it as much but this lipstick is the, the right kind of dark that i want so i'm honestly i'm really impressed with the lipstick the lip pencil i did use it just to kind of outline where i was going to go with my lipstick and yeah i really can't complain about it i'm not horrendously savvy with lip pencil i'm not i really like to put a black outline on the edge of my lips and then um blend it in with some red lipstick so <laughs> sometimes it really doesn't work on the off chances it does but I really can't complain about the lip pencil either. It glided really nicely. It wasn't it wasn't really tacky and sticky. You know when you're you kind of drawing the line and then it stops. So you put a little bit of pressure on and it just goes. That's essentially what I'm talking about. But this set, if you're looking for a really nice alternative lip set, I would definitely go for that. So now we are going to move on to the thing you've all been waiting for, guys and gals. We are going to move on to the makeup palette. And it's only little. I, Not to sound ungrateful or anything, but I thought it would be a lot bigger than this. Uh, what have we got? So we've got a Thanks A Latte postcard. That's, that's nice. I'm not a massive fan of lattes. Fun fact for you, the most interesting coffee branded thing that I really like is Mocha. So that's the situation with that. Ooh. <laughs> that is, so that's your Gather Round Sisters makeup palette. And then on the back, it has all your different names of your different eyeshadows. So we have got Full Moon, Hello Salem, Brew Potion, On Toast, Coven, Come Little Children, Tis Firm, Thackeray Binks, Yabos, uh, I Call It A Bus, <laughs> I Call It A Bus, Wench, Night of Frolic, Dead Man's Toe, Bewitched and Goodbye Cruel World. All of them are very apt names. I really want to watch Hocus Pocus now. I feel like I'm going to watch it tomorrow. So that was the box that your eyeshadow will come in. And inside the box it's got a really lovely cauldron theme on it. It just gets better and better really. <laughs> so if we open it... Oh, that's really cute. Ah, I'm not gonna, oh, well, it came off anyway. This is where we're at. <laughs> so if I turn it to you, there you go. You've got a lovely Sanderson's illustration for you. Try and, there we go. That's the badger. Why didn't I think of that before? For God's sake, Lou. 
there we go so you've got all the sisters mary does not look flattering at all that's really upsetting <laughs> She does not look good at all, does she? She really doesn't look good. So, there we have all... So if I can show them to you individually. That's covered. Oh. So if I go from... Oh. There we go. So that's coven. Moving on to on toast. Then brew potion... Hello Salem, full moon. So that's the first, full moon looks really, really nice. And then I will show you, if I can move it up real close to you. There we go. We've got, so I'm gonna be using that one a lot. I call it a bus, we've got Yabos. We've got Thackeray Binks, we've got Tis Firm and Come Little Children on that one. And then, so, yeah, so if we move down to the third row. So we have got Goodbye Cruel World, we've got Bewitched, we have got Dead Man's Toe, Night of Frolicking, and then wench so we got all of them on that one which is really nice now i'm going to use my arm and i'm going to show you them column by column so for the first one i'm going to do the full moon uh hello salem brew potion on toast and coven so if i just swatch them oh oh full moon is sparkly tell you what i'll put it on this one just because i haven't got my tattoo on that one. Oh gosh i've got too many things on or i suppose i could just use my fingers couldn't i oh wow brew potion that is really nice uh, on toast isn't horrendously dark so oh god I've got to remember which ones they are so that is your oh you can't really see it that well can you hmm so if I can try and show it yeah so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try and show it you on my fingers just because um, my skin is really not lit up well so pop that there i can show you that so that is your full moon swatch if i pop it down there so it is a really nice pale color you could almost use that as like a um yeah you could definitely use that with your darker ones as well i think and then we have got hello salem so that's just a nice nude colour, I think. That's the next one I'm showing you. So if you pop that swatch there. Again, it's another really light one. It's not too crazy, I don't think. These are kind of like all your base nude colours. And then next we have got... So that is Full Moon, which I'm very excited about. And if I do that one... There we go. That is so pigmented compared to the other two that's really pigmented so if you're going out on a night out that would be absolutely lush to use i think and then i believe i've got on toast which is on my pinky finger there we go so it's again it's just one of your base nude colors i think if we pop that there oh that is that is quite pigmented for saying what it is i didn't like when you look at the palette it does actually look quite pasty it looks quite clear and the last one we have got is coven so that's on my thumb i'll swatch it there for you that's another sparkly one as well which is really really nice so your main sparkly ones are full moon brew potion and coven for that one kind of try and rub that off a little bit <laughs> 
you can tell i've never done one of these before i was going to do one for the nightmare before christmas one but then it just didn't happen so that's where we're at and now my hands are all sparkly yay so the next one i'm going to show you is the com little children tis firm uh thackeray binks which is a bright oh it's a purple uh vabos and i call it a bus so i'll pop those on my fingers tell you what i'll try and do it in order so that's come little children that's tis firm the tis firm one i don't know if any of you have it it's like the um urban decay alice through the looking glass it's the Salazar Grom, Salazar Grom, I think. I think that's what it's called. But it's very, it's a lot like that. It's really not dark red, but it's a really pigmented red. So we'll start with Come Little Children. There we go. So that's Come Little Children for you. And it's that. It's super, super dark. That's really dark. Um, again these colors are really deceiving they look really light on the palette but as you can see they are really pigmented and then our next one is tis firm so that's the kind of reddish one you're looking at and that looks like that so that's quite a dark red actually that's the kind of red i've been looking for for a while uh we've got thackeray binks next which is the lovely shiny purple one and that looks like this so that's a really nice dark purple for you i would put dead man's toe with thackeray binks i think i think i'd use dead man's toe for my lid and then maybe thackeray binks for the outside of it and then we have got yabos which is a green color so if i pop that one there for you that's a very nice swatch i really like the uh, really like the glitter on that one and the last one is i call it a bus so that's a very dark it does look like a dark blue here but if i yeah that's that's incredibly dark blue if not black so that's basically your black color and i try and focus back in hello there we go <laughs> okay and for our final I'm trying to rub it all off to be fair i think you need a setting spray with these ones they have actually been able to they've rubbed off quite easily actually so i would definitely recommend using a setting spray so the last column i'm going to pop on and that is wench night of frolic dead man's toe bewitched and goodbye cruel world which is such a mood right now <laughs> so i'll pop wench on my big thumb that's a nice silvery color for you i think you'll really like that one we got night of frolic which is a nice plum color dead man's toe which yes i would put with thackeray binks so bewitched is a nice dark um dark green i think like a military green and goodbye cruel world that's actually lighter than i thought it would be so if i can show you so that is a uh, wench that's the silvery color and if i pop it on oh god this is going to be awkward there you honestly can't really see it that much so if you're looking for your silvery kind of um kind of pigments and that's really the one you're looking for i don't know if you can see it but it's kind of here it's a really it's more of a highlightery kind of color i think so the next one we have got is night of frolic see if that will there we go so this is the nice plum color oh there we go we can see full moon um wench a little bit more now so wench is that one i believe so night of frolic that's a really nice color really really nice color uh the middle one is dead man's toe so that's the one i said that i would put with thackeray and that's kind of why like that really nice lighter purple tone i think it would really complement 
Although, I suppose you could really mix Night of Frolic, Dead Man's Toe and Thackeray Binks all together, but it just depends on you guys. The next one is Bewitched. So it's this plum, plum, dark green kind of colour. There we go. And it's it kind of comes out as more of a slight lime green, but nah, I'm not a massive fan of it. I think if I was doing more slithery kind of makeup, then I would consider using it. But apart from that, I can't see myself using it that much. Uh, the last one is, I'll get a bit more on for you, and that is Goodbye Cruel World. So that's a nice gold colour for you, which is a lot, there we go, a lot more pigmented than the Wench colour. I think just because it's quite a silvery colour, it's it'll tend to uh, not show up so well. It won't show up as good as Goodbye Cruel World. But like I said, if I show you, so this is the darkest colour. I believe that is Dead Man's Toe. If I rub for quite a long time, it starts to fade a lot. It really starts to fade a lot. So unless you use a lot of it or you get a setting spray, I can't see it lasting for a long time. As somebody who goes to gigs, as someone who goes to download, uh, I'm not sure that I would use this palette necessarily for that. Maybe a night out potentially, but again, you've got that potential of getting sweaty, of getting, you know, wet and gross if it's raining and stuff. So I don't know. I really don't know. I would potentially use it for a photo shoot or something, maybe. It just depends on you guys. It depends on how long you want to use it for this that and the other really but apart from that i'm really happy with the different colors you get i really like the purples i really really like the purples and tis firm as well because i've been looking for another kind of darkish red color my salazon grum color is unfortunately running out it's one of the only ones that i will use on that palette and i am devastated i don't know if they've got any more through the looking glass palettes but i had to get mine from america so this is where we're at with that but altogether, that is the hocus pocus makeup palette well eyeshadow palette but again you've got all of your eyeshadow colors on the back you've got them all underneath the actual eyeshadows they are lovely they really are lovely uh you've got pretty much everything you need there from your base colors to your new colors to your silvers and your gold to just some really really nice pigmented uh well as you can see they're just really really nice colors i will be doing some more get some more haven't even started i will be doing some get readies with me at some point in the future so i may actually use this palette i might use my nightmare before christmas palette as well to see how they come out uh i might do a couple of experiments with them to see how long they actually last with and without setting spray so we'll just have to see about that thank you guys so much for uh sticking with me on this one this is the first proper makeup unboxing i have done so thank you so much for that i'm so sorry about doing all the swatches and stuff on my hand unfortunately my lighting isn't great for that kind of stuff at the moment i will be potentially getting a ring light with this next pay package we shall see just because i know that you guys can't necessarily see things super well so that's the situation with that but apart from that i am super happy with what i got how much did it cost me altogether i don't think i want to know <laughs> oh it doesn't say well i'll be damned um yeah it literally if i show you doesn't say says nothing nada that's where it will come well no it doesn't say <laughs> uh that's fine that's okay i guess uh i guess i'll get a shock at the end of the month as i always do <laughs> but again thank you so much guys for watching this video i really appreciate your company and your time if you want to see more stuff like this if you want to see all the spooky vibes all the horror vibes marvel vibes uh ghostly vibes unboxings and hauls i have got those vibes for you so stick with me we are at 122 subscribers i am so happy about that uh i'm really hoping to get to 150 at some point 
very soon but again that's completely up to you guys i noticed that a lot of people that watch my content aren't subscribed uh but yeah if you want to know what's coming up in the future if you want to be notified about what's going to happen then please consider subscribing it's just a click for you guys but honestly knowing that people want to watch this it really does mean the world for me i really appreciate it thank you so much for watching i hope you've had a good day if not that's okay always remember tomorrow's a new day see you later guys bye